Hi, today I want to show you how to uh, create a saw blade with Blender. Some time ago, about a few months ago, I was, was trying to create a saw blade and I am still a very beginner of Blender and I try to go to forum and ask for help and there are many different suggestions uh, uh, I've got so and uh one of them is using the uh selection and selection I'm going to show you let's start have a look at the saw blade here are some different type of saw blade there are some with the triangle small teeth and uh what I want to do is this, this something like this so big teeth so let's start Blender. I'm using uh, Blender 2.61 and uh, let's delete the cube, add the circle and make it higher 64 and fill it. Okay. So have a look at this one. Uh, what we can do is, uh, I was suggested with, with this every n number of vertex selection to modify the the uh, circle to get to create a seed. But somehow uh, I couldn't do it really properly. The only problem with the selection is uh, if I use this one you can see here there's only one parameter I can put in. Uh, I can only select uh, the end uh, selection like 2, 3, 4 and so on. But I can't really control where to start and I can't select multiple vertices and I can't even select uh, edge. So at the end I uh, I ended up to create my own script. So I'm not an expert in this and I didn't do it as a plugin. I, my script is still like a raw script and I posted in a forum and hope someone will make use of it and maybe one day will be someone can convert it as a plugin. Here is the script I posted. I am going to put it put it the link in the dis description of the video. So let's copy the script here and open the bit lower window, select text editor, click on new create text block and paste it here. Okay, so in this script we got three parameters. We can put an offset. Basically it uh, determines where to start the selection and uh, the, the number of uh, Vertex, vertices or edges to be selected and the number of non-selected vertices and and uh, uh, edges. So at the moment I think it's good enough to select every second one. So one will be selected, one will be not selected. So if I press out and right click to select the loop here and click on run script. Okay, you can see every second one is selected. Okay, and okay. Oh, one thing I forgot. This is supposed to be a, the whole of the saw blade. So I better I I have to extrude it and make it bigger first. So press E to extrude S for scale and make it bigger. Okay, now I can run the script again to do the alternatively selection. Now I press R for rotate 
And now I rotate it a little bit in here. Then I press out, right click to select the loop again, and E for extrude, S for scale. Then I get so something for the teeth here. Okay. Now what we are going to do is to make the edges sharp. So we want to select the inner loop, the outer loop. So with shift button and now press shift E and one enter. Okay, now you can see it's changing the color. You will see later on what's that for. I'm going to leave it for the moment. And now I am going to select the, you can see all edges are marked as sharp. It won't be, the sub, the modifier subdivide won't change anything on this one. So now I'm going to turn this inner loop off. So press, select the inner loop, press shift E and minus one, enter. Okay, now it's no longer pink. Okay, we have to turn a little bit the inner loop, select the inner loop again and press rotate, turn it a little bit like this. And now I have to put this vertex a little bit in there. So let's select the outer loop. And so I set the op offset to move forward. I want to select this one. So let's select the loop again. Run the script. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, that's by mistake. It should be one, every second one. That's because it's, I'm using the outer loop only. Okay, now that's correct. So that's every second one. And now scale it smaller. Okay. Now come where the script this, only this script work. Now I'm going to select the loop again. Now I need to de delete this edge. So I have to select this loop and change it to edge mode and select every second, every second one, run the script, see how it goes. Yes, that's the edge we want to delete. Now it's selecting every second one. Now I press delete edges. Okay, now it looks like a saw blade. And if we have a closer look in the reference photo, yes, and here are the edges. And here is the, uh, we need to make it a curve here. So uh, go back to Blender. And we can do it with the modifier subdivide. Use uh, let's uh, sh switch it to object mode and add modifier subdivision surface. Okay, now we got a curve here. That and you can see that's the reason why we have to put the sharp edges here. Otherwise, it will be rounded everywhere. All the teeth are rounded. So, and we need to make it uh, a thickness, give it a thickness for the uh, saw blade. Uh, let's uh, add modifier solidify and uh, solidify, let's say. 0.5. I'm not sure how does it look like. Let's try to render it. 
Oh, it's too tight. Zero point zero. Ah, uh, maybe zero point one. It's very wrong. Okay. So, oh, I forgot. Uh, I need to cut the hole. Uh, go back to object mode. Sorry, edit mode, and go to wireframe. Oh, solid mode. Uh, sorry, wireframe. Select. Oh, unselected. Select the middle one. Delete. Now there's a hole and render again. Okay. That's my saw blade and uh, that's the script I use. You will be able to find it in the forum. I'm going to put the link in the video description. Uh, I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.